Good morning, children. Last class, we have done table 4.2. Let me recall you what we have done. We took different materials and I asked you that from that different materials, what are the objects which you can make? We did wood, we did paper and these three I gave you for homework. So let me uh, give answers from my side. And if you think that you have written any other answer, doesn't matter, but it should be made from that material. Leather, that is shoes. One example can be shoes. Another example can be bags. Another example can be belts. And there are so many. So I am writing here, etc. Here we come with plastics. Plastics, there can be tiffin boxes. Tiffin boxes. Here it can be bottles, more containers or let me give a small spelling, jugs and etc. Then we come for cotton. Cotton it comes as bed sheets. Then fabrics which we can say clothes. And there are so many, that is etc. I'm writing over here. If you have written anything different, which is made from leather, plastic or cotton, no matter, it should be only those things which should be made from these material. After reopening, I'll check your copies and I'll confirm that it is correct or it is wrong. If you haven't written, you can copy down all the objects made from these materials by taking these examples which I gave you. Now let's start with the next topic that is properties of material. How after seeing that is appearance, the first properties we'll see that after looking any object, can you rectify what is that object or what is that object known as? First, we will see appearance in properties of material. Let's have a look children. Here comes with the next topic, properties of material. Children, have you ever wonder that liquids, for example, water, have you ever seen water is collected in a cloth or a paper? Probably your answer should be no. Never we can collect water into a cloth or a paper. Always keeping the water into a tumbler, vessel, or any solid objects where the liquid can be kept. We have to see that according to the properties we have to see. If it is a liquid, we cannot use a cloth. We cannot use a paper to keep that liquid. What we have to use? A tumbler, a vessel, a beaker or any solid object in which that liquid can be kept. So, we always take the object according to its property. So, object is what? The object is the tumbler and this tumbler has a property that it can take what into it? Liquid. Now, for example, if you take opposite object as liquid, any liquid, water, water is your object. So this water object property is that it is liquid in nature and it cannot be contained or it cannot be kept in cloth or paper. So these are the two objects which I took, one in a liquid form, water, which you required a tumbler, another tumbler in which you can keep that water. Now children, uh, here comes the first property of material that is your appearance. If I say I take wood, aluminium, copper, 
gold, chalk and silver. Now what I say that according to the properties you will keep the object. So what does the property says among this if the question arises to you things which are dull or I change the question things which are shiny. So if I my first question is things which are dull your answer will be dull, wood, dull, another chalk, dull and opposite question things which are shiny, shiny in chemistry the word is lusher. Shiny ko lusher bhi kehte hain. So in book if you find this don't get confused. Iska matlab hota hai. Koi bhi cheez shine karna. So if I ask you just tell me according to the properties shine properties which are the objects which are shiny. You will say ma'am aluminium, gold, silver and copper. So they have the property of lusher. Now among these also, if I ask you to differentiate, अब मैंने तुमको बोला wood and chalk दोनों dull हैं, both are dull. But what is the difference? One is a wooden color, that is brown color. लकड़ी uses are different. Here, if I speak for chalk, chalk is used for writing, that is writing on blackboard. So, both are dull, but uses are different. But jab tumko dekhne bola, appearance, I ask first question. How many are dull? You say two, wood and chalk. Now, both are dull. Tell me the uses, different uses. You gave me wood, used for furniture. Wood, used for different other purposes. Chalk, writing on blackboard or any other thing which you can tell me. Now, same thing happened for here. Aluminium, copper, gold, silver. Property, first property, they are lusher, common property. Sab mein shine hai. But ma'am, how do you find the difference? Copper, aluminium, gold, silver. Look wise, when you see, you can easily see their appearance that they are different. Uses, copper is used for different purposes. Aluminium is used for different purposes. Gold and silver is used for different purposes. So children, Today up to appearance. If you have any doubt, you ask me through Campus Care. Thank you and have a nice day.